keep shooting down. That's where the golden the golden pool is. Yep, just straight down along this uh this waterway. Yeah, there was a there was a good amount in there. Definitely a good amount. But they're moving upstream because the water levels are super low. I can't believe how low the water is. Because up ahead, there's going to be like this granite ridge that's going to be kind of slanted. We're going to walk over that and then we're going to find a pool over there. And it was just absolutely stacked. There's a possibility we'll have to shorten our leaders with uh, how shallow the water is here today. Because this water was flowing last time. Flowing. Alright, that's not too bad. It's like a stair. Let me try and grab the poles from you. Yeah, I got him. We're just about there. Damn it, I shouldn't have worn these pants. It's so hot. Just go up a little bit. Oh, that's probably something's home right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Looks a nice nesting area. We are just about there. That water was so deep one month ago. So deep. At least nine foot plus feet. And now it's probably like two or three. Yeah, that's cool. It's so interesting how they move upstream though when they need to. Out here right now with my dad trying to get him on some golden trout. There's a little pool. You could even get down here. Yeah, they're t they're everywhere. Yeah, it looks like they all moved up here cuz it's sh it's shadier right here. Yeah, this is going to be a nice spot. We wanted to catch that current and drift towards that way. You getting hit? You gotta be ready though, cause they, they'll bump it and then spit it out. So we're gonna switch our tactics up a little bit. I'm out here with my dad and uh, he's never ever caught a golden trout and he's always talked about the golden trout. And it's been, you know, a bucket list fish for him, something he's always wanted to do. And so when I went fishing off the grid, I kind of did that trip just because I wanted to catch you know, a golden trout for him. I'm excited for him. He's gonna catch his first golden today. We're gonna we're gonna set him up with a different rig and he's gonna get on a golden right now. So stay tuned. When it gets to the end, just try and reel it in slowly. Oh you're on one! You're on one! You're on one! You're on one. Look at that. Look at the colors. The belly's just a vibrant orange. Nice. He's gone. Sweet. Just release it. <laughs> Sweet one. That's awesome. So when you're targeting golden trout, go ahead and use a little, it's an Eagle Claw Spin Float VMC Bob Stop. This is a Danielson Snap Swivel. Anything tinier will work too. And then we have this little tiny 
tungsten weight fly, 2.5 pound Rio Fluoroflex test. That's all you need when you're targeting these small fish. Golden trout are really finicky and they'll spit lures out when they notice something's wrong with it and uh, they can see really well too. There's one. There. Look at these colors. Whoa, 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 whoa. So when you're handling a golden, make sure you always uh, wet your hands first because these fish are really sensitive. Calm down, buddy. Look at the nice colors on this little gold. Just ate the little fly. I missed like three or four right there. There he goes. Oh, there's one. And when you're fishing for these fish, you also want to use barbless hooks. There he goes. See the small little pocket? It looks like it wouldn't hold anything. But if you go ahead and throw this in there, it's got fish. There's another one. Oh, it's a good one. Good size golden. Look at this. Oh! There he goes. It's the third one. There's a golden. Running with it. There he is. Little guy. Little, little guy. And always make sure you use barbless hooks when you're catching these. Got a camera too? Yeah. Ooh, nice. That is a good one. That's a good one. I think he's ready. Is he? There he goes. They're quick. Ho, ho. Oh. There he goes. Awesome. Where'd you catch that one? Right in that, right in that pocket, right in that hole. Nice. Yeah, he was, he was hooked up fast. This is shorter leader, I think. Yeah, it definitely is. The only thing that sucks is we could run longer leaders if we had dry flies. We wouldn't have to worry about yeah, it. There's another one right there. They would just sit at the top. So my dad's caught about four goldens, and I've caught I think two or three, but. We both like snapped off on like a really nice size golden at like the same exact time. We're just out here in the forest, we're having a good time, just catching some goldens. We may target some brook uh, or rainbow or brown, but right now we're just enjoying ourselves with some golden trout and we're just using the, the fly and bubble technique. It's a very good technique. If you don't have a fly set up and you only have a spinning set up, you're, you're going to catch some cool native fish. And these goldens are tricky. It's like one moment the fish will it'll eat your fly, but then it'll notice something's kind of off about this fly. So it just goes, just spits it straight out. As soon as it notices that there's like the slightest, uh, you know, just something's off about this, they just go, like they really have to want it to actually catch these fish. But they're awesome fish. They're beautiful. They're rare. They're they're just awesome only native to California and it's awesome. We're having a great time. Stay tuned. It's like an alien track. What? There's two more right there. Oh look, right there. There's one, two, three. That is weird. Oh, there's a dead deer up here? 
I'll get some cool shots and tag PETA in it. Where? Oh yeah. Jeez. Don't drink the mountain water. Dang. Are you okay? Look at that golden, you guys. That's a very, very nice size golden. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, shoot. Oh, nice spot. Oh, there's one, there's one. Nice. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a good pick. It looks really vibrant red in that. Look at that golden. That's a different one. Oh! Oh! You got him. Ah! Wow! Look at the colors. It's like bright, bright golden. It's like, it's almost got like a tint of rainbow too on those uh, dots. Beautiful fish. There he goes. He had a bright, vibrant, a vibrant red on him. Ah! Oh. So I seen over 